Y'all watch this. Pay attention to the cross. Watch what you're doing in your house, like Sage. Yeah, yeah. Stay so do we gotta do some kind of prayers or do we gotta do prayers or what we gotta do? Okay. Um, in the name of Jesus, um, amen. Is that what it is? I'm gonna be in that before next time. What the fuck, baby? Baby. Oh, shit. What the fuck, baby? Go, 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 go. This right here just put more demons in their house. They made it worse. They made it worse. When you're in this situation, what do you do when you in, are in this type of home? You got to get a powerful man of God, a true man of God, or a true woman of God who has been living right for real and been fasting and is used to doing deliverances on people. And also, if you don't have that power and you can't find nobody, the best thing for you to do is move. Okay? But you still need to have a prayer life, though, because these demons will follow you. you that's just the truth. When you start living in this house, the demons will follow you from place to place. You got to, before all this happened, you got to pay attention to where you're moving in. You can't just move in anything, especially when you live in a Christian life. You have to say, Lord, is this the place that you want me to move in? You don't know. Um, the last person who lived there, did they do witchcraft in this house? How would you know? So now you are, you have, you have moved into a home where it's been warlocks and witches been chanting demons in this house. Now you in here and you up here suffering for what someone else have done. And then this couple here, some, some stupid person, I have to keep it real, told them to get sage to bless the home. And it made it worse to the point that the cross that was on the wall, it went upside down and it was flickering lights. Listen, people, this ain't going to work. All this stuff that people just need to get into the word of God. It don't take all that. That's why I love just don't, don't anyone that's, that understand what I'm saying here. Don't you just love the Lord? He just keep it simple. You just be faithful to the Lord, live right and pray. And then the witches over here, they make you buy all this type of stuff. And then they don't know that when you get involved with a witch, you got to do more things to re, what's it called? Um, you have to renew, rededicate it. You have to put more money in it. You got to put money in every six months for the witchcraft to work. It's just a lot. And then it affects your children, it affects your generation, it affects your generation. People need to take this stuff serious and stop playing with um, with Satan because he's ready to destroy you. He'll give you whatever you want, right? But he was ready to destroy you. He will turn on you. The first time that you think he is helping you out, he has already turned on you. Just, you know, give your life to Christ Jesus. When he blesses you, it's no conditions with it. It's easy. It's an easy life. Believe it or not. God bless you. Thank you for watching.